Hi everyone, this is Brian Yo with TradeBeFree.com and today I want to go over some of the, the earnings eruptions trades we've seen over the past few days and today we had another nice one on Acadia Pharmaceuticals and this this uh, setup is doing really, really well. Uh, did really great. The first quarter is doing very, very well this quarter. We saw a couple more the past couple of days that hit the entry point, made nice moves. Acadia Pharmaceuticals this morning had a nice gap up. It gapped up just enough to meet our criteria. It was within the level limit of the distance between the pre-market high and the open, opening price. There was a, a big uh, surge up here from yesterday. This is after hours though. It's not the pre-market. So ideally we want to see these patterns, these setups where they're really close to the the aftermarket high too. Okay, so the pre-market and aftermarket action yesterday. But the after hours highs was way up here. But one thing we noticed about this trade though is once you got above 33.50, you know, you had this really wide gap between here and high made yesterday after hours. So you've got probably a 10% gap there. So this could fill that gap all the way up to $37 and then move beyond that too. If you look at the long term pattern on this, you can see on a daily chart over the past year. We'll go back two years. You can see this sort of bullish symmetrical triangle pattern that's developed over the past two years. It looks like it wants to go towards the top of that uh, downtrend resistance up here in this pattern and may even break out of that. So this might be an interesting one to hold a portion of our shares. And that's what I did this morning. I took a you know, good portion off here after that first push, about 3 or 4% from the ideal technical entry point, which was just above 33.50, around 33.55. Took some off there, and then I'm going to stop the rest of my entry point and just see if this trends higher for a few days and uh, makes a charge towards the top of that, uh, or that downtrend resistance, the top of the pattern, the larger pattern, on a daily chart, and if, see if it breaks out of that. It might. So if it does you might see a quick 20% move beyond there. So this is one where you, know, you can keep a portion of your shares, even if you're a day trader, and just you know raise the stop below the prior day's low and just see if it makes that kind of move with this kind of fundamental catalyst where they beat, raised, you know, a, lot of got, a lot of good things going on with this company with this earnings report. And if you dive into the numbers and the story, you'll see that things look really good right now and a lot of fund managers may jump on board and certainly you know they may take it back to you know where it was before at least which was up here around 40 so why not why wouldn't it go to 40 if it if the news is this good on this earnings report it's a very good chance of that happening so that was one trade today and one of the great things about this trade as was the case with cores is that you're not limited to how much you can make and what position size you can put on as you are with penny stocks if you look at Acadia, for instance, this morning, you know, we had you know, almost a million shares trading hands in the first five minutes and then hundreds of thousands of shares trading hands after that. So if you if you put in 20,000 shares, let's say, um, if you put that kind of position on there, that's over half a million dollars. You know, once you get your account up to that point and you're taking big position sizes like that, you can still trade the stock and take advantage of that move, uh, you know, with a 2.5% stop loss. But uh, you can take advantage of that move, and again, it made that real nice move up up 4% from the ideal entry point. And that's, that's um, very high probability trade. It's a very high probability trade, and it continues to be. So this strategy, unlike others, will grow with your account, and you don't have to be limited to the number of shares you're, you're putting into a stock and worrying about the slippage that is often very large when you put large position sizes in on penny stock trades. So you have better average profits with this. You have uh, a very high likelihood of success. You can let these carry on for a few days, like with lumber liquidators and with stamps.com that broke out of this pattern recently and you know other stocks. So it's a really great strategy and I, I uh, definitely recommend checking it out and trying it. We have the warranty on it too for six months along with a, a very easy payment plan on it so and that's going on for a short while longer all this uh earnings season i've been out trying to show people in real time how well this works and a lot of people are 
are skeptical, and I would be too. You know, if I, you know, if I saw numbers like this, and if I saw the consistency like this, and so I wanted to take this earnings season and kind of show you guys how good this works, and how reliable it is, and how you can use it with small accounts, large accounts, and how much better it is than you know every other strategy I've tried, uh, including it on penny stocks. So. This is one to add to your arsenal. It's very simple. If you're trading penny stocks or if you're tra trading really short-term moves, one of the keys in the strategy, you know, once you learn it, first of all, you have to learn all the rules and you know, make sure you understand all of them first. But once you do, one of the keys is just to let it let it go. Okay, Just keep that uh, stop-loss point where it, where it should be and just be patient with it and let's let it play out. It's going to take you know anywhere from five, ten minutes up to an hour or two or more for it to play out. And you know if you're keeping part of your shares for a large move, if it gets off to a really good start, you know you just you just hang on to it. You just hang on to a portion of your shares until uh, you know one of those key technical factors occurs that's covered in the course, and then you can often get out with the remainder of your position. And a very big profit, okay, within a few days. So it's definitely one to have in your arsenal of trading strategies. The key to being a successful day trader or swing trader is having a whole set of optimal strategies that make a lot of money in a short amount of time and do so very reliably. Okay, that's the whole name of the game. And you have to understand the current market. And know what's working in the current market and adjust your strategy a little bit to changing market conditions. But those two courses and our newsletter and book give you a great start on, on developing uh, your go-to strategies and adding more to your arsenal, which is key to being successful over time. So Now yesterday we had an earnings eruptions trade too in course. And course took its time breaking out of the pattern and uh, hitting the entry point and when it did it pulled back a little bit but it consolidated really nicely above the VWAP and if we zoom in on this we can see this it hit the entry point pulled back a bit it only pulled back about you know 1.25 percent below uh, the ideal technical entry point and and stocks in this price range is very common that 1.25 percent seems to be almost a magic number you know, once you get into the trading day, you know, 15, 20 minutes into the trading day, that 1.25% seems like it's a good uh, stop loss point out of these really good patterns that set up early in the morning. Um, but Coors hit the entry point. It was very easy to trade. Uh, didn't pull back much at the second time it broke out here and uh, made a real nice 4% move. I had to cut out early, though, yesterday because I had a guy come over working on the house and I had to work with him for a while. But um, yeah, I cut it, I cut it short through here. Um, almost stopped it at the entry point and just let it go for a while. But I thought, you know what, we're heading to the lunch hour, and so I don't have time to watch it today. I'm going to be working on the house and doing some stuff around the house uh, all day today, all the, all day that day. And so I decided just to go ahead and just take a small profit and move on. But I, but it went on and hit the target, the first target and continues actually to trend higher. One interesting pattern that happened today I wanted to show you too was this little this little couple of handle pattern here. Now when it breaks the uh, the prior day's high the day after the big move after earnings that's sometimes called a secondary move. What you can look, what you can look for with these kind of trading setups is a a pattern, a bullish pattern very close to that ideal entry point in that secondary move. And that's what we got today. We got this little cup of handle pattern. After it first broke out of uh, the prior day's high, it pulled back a little bit, set up that pattern, broke out, and now it's making a nice move. So those little patterns that are that are bullish near the entry point on a daily chart are something to look for. And if they if they develop really nicely, if it's a very well formed pattern like this, and it breaks out, that's often a good time to jump in and you know, it's not, this may not be a big move here. Those secondary moves generally are pretty small uh, the same day. You know, they might move up 2, 3, maybe 4% the same day. 
but they're nice day trades and you know this one's off to a nice start but that's something to watch one thing i want to show you too was one that uh set up on monday that didn't meet the qualifications in the course and i want to show you this here and there's a key uh rule in our course and it violated that rule as it was coming into the uh into the open here and because of that we backed away from this um you know if the pattern looks really strong pre-market and everything looks really good you know we'll sometimes take a starter position at the open um, in this case we didn't we waited for the uh technical entry point to be hit in the pattern and it, it didn't it never hit that entry point and it started pulling back started to pull back after the open i thought you know this thing is going to turn around and come back and hit the entry point and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting on it and it never did and so I avoided this trade and that's good because it pulled back you know this one pulled back you know five seven percent from the open so you know just following the rules in a good set of rules like we have in the earnings eruptions course avoided this uh, losing trade okay so it's really important to have a very clear very comprehensive set of rules in your trading strategy and wait and wait for the best setups it's really critical especially if, with a small account so yeah so this earnings eruptions trade continues to do very well this quarter i think you know we've seen maybe eight to ten of these and maybe one failed on shopify although i don't i don't know if shopify really raised their numbers or not but that's i think that's the only one that really failed you know to make at least a three percent move before hitting a 2.5 percent stop loss and or 2.5 percent to 3 3.5 percent stop loss in some cases we take a 3.5 percent stop loss and those rules are are clearly laid out in the course that we released back in may so just by following those rules um it would have been a great earning season of trading these big earnings beats so uh, it continues to do really well um something else i want to show you oh mksi that didn't go so well we had a actually this qualifies as a explosive bottoming pattern a, sec, a secondary entry point in that pattern and hit the entry point yesterday made a nice initial move of about one percent or so pull back with the rest of the market late yesterday and then pull back um again this morning you know it, it held above the stop loss point nicely it's starting to come back now but that's off to a slow start and the big winner though this past week or two has been CORT and we caught that one at a very good technical entry point a week or so ago and this thing flew from 1330 up to 1520 uh, almost 20 percent well 15 percent I think is that right around 15 percent in a week and about 20 percent from my original entry point and yeah you know, it's now pulling back a bit looks like it wants to find support at the 9 EMA and if we get a strong uh, candlestick pattern off that 9 EMA be a good secondary entry point but that that has more um, I think more to go and you know again after this next pullback uh, the next uh, strong candlestick pattern might be a good entry point to carry it you know another dollar or two so and Let's see. So, yeah. So, again, we're seeing very high probability trades on the earnings eruptions trade. And if you haven't gotten the course yet, I encourage you to do so. Um, the first video in the course is free on the on the website, on our blog. So you can go to our blog and, and check that out. Um, we also have the first video of the explosive bottoming pattern, which has done really well this year as well. And you can always take a three-week three, three week trial of our weekly and daily alert on our site. And that'll give you really great swing trading setups uh, that are longer term on top growth stocks and companies, uh, just companies beating estimates with rising future expectations, along with those elite growth stocks. You know, some of those uh, patterns take longer to develop. You know, you might be in the trade for anywhere from a couple weeks to several weeks. But we've had some really big winners out of that uh, strategy, this, strategy this year, too. And it's really great for those who work full time as is the explosive bottoming pattern. The earnings eruptions trade can be used also if you're working full-time. You just have to put a buy stop order in there and 
the uh, results may be a little bit less, but you know you generally do really well with that with that pattern if you you know check the pre-market pattern before the the day starts before you go to work and uh, make sure the uh, the rules are met in the course as best you can before you're off to work. So that that's that strategy will work also with a full-time job.